Hey, Snackers, have you ever wondered how you can get the most up-to-date information about your network's performance? In DevNet Snack Minute, episode 41, DevNet's developer advocate, Stuart Clark, shows us how to use the SD-WAN reporting tool to get the most up-to-date information about your network. Hey Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Hey everyone, I'm Matt Dinapoli. I'm one of the managers of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 41 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10 minute all things DevNet where we learn about coding, APIs, or just some cool stuff we think you might like to know. And the cool thing we're gonna talk to you about today is SD-WAN reporting dashboard uh, with our guest and my friend, Stuart Clark. He's my Stuart, friend, you... too. He's my friend, too. Okay. <laughs> Stuart, do you mind introducing yourself? <laughs> Thanks, Kareem. Yes, I am your friend, and I am Matt's friend, too. So I'm Stuart Clark. I'm a developer advocate for Cisco DevNet. Uh, Stuart, what are you going to be uh, showing us today? I know we know uh, we're going to be looking at something to do with SD-WAN and reporting, but I'm kind of curious as to what's going on uh, with that. Great question, Matt. So today we're going to be looking at the SD-WAN reporting tool. This is a tool that's been created by the SD-WAN organization or BU engineering teams within Cisco. And it's a reporting tool that leverages the APIs on SD-WAN vManage to retrieve data, generate reports. Um, and from here, we can get all kinds of information about the SD-WAN fabric and all of the edge devices. Uh, that sounds really cool. Um, can you kind of take us behind the scenes and uh, show us a little bit about the architecture and the implementation there? Sure, absolutely. I'd love to. So what you're seeing now is where you can get the uh, SD1 reporting tool from. The SD1 reporting tool is available on Code Exchange, and you can download this. There's some information on Code Exchange here about the SD1 reporting tool, which tells you all the features that you can do with uh, the reporting tool itself, such as ton tunnel performance, um, site um, availability requests, bandwidth utilization, those kind of things. There's a guide also which is included on here for you know setting this up and a complete walkthrough of the solution itself. Also within the code exchange submission, you can see how you can get this. And there's two ways to install this. One, you can install it with a Docker file locally and have it running on your machine like I'm going to do today. Or you can download it as an OVA file as well if you prefer. So let's take a look at the tool and, and see what it can do. Like I said, I am running this in a Docker container. So if I just jump into my uh, my terminal quickly, and I'll show you here, I've got it running. So if I just run a quick Docker PS, you'll see that I spun up this container. And so I didn't get kind of bitten by the uh, you know gremlins of doing live demos. I did set this up a few hours beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that I'm running this. But once you've got the folder installed in your machine, you'll see everything that you need to get up and running with this. So the way that you start this, once you've downloaded and got it or cloned the repo onto your local machine, is you can just run this um, bash file here, this start.sh file, and it will spin up this exact uh, container for you. The next thing that we need to do is actually go to the container and within our local environment. So I scoot up a couple of commands and I open this within a web browser. And hey presto, this opens up a web browser. And so the next, first next thing that we need to do is connect this into our vManage instance. And I've got a vManage instance or SD1 fabric running in the background. And so what you do is you enter the vManage host name or IP address I've got here, the vManage port, which typically defaults to 443, and then your username and password. So I'm just going to uh, enter the, the password again, just to make sure that I'm logging into the right device. Now, the, the vManage comes with the container as the dashboard? No, vManage and, and SD-WAN is running as a completely separate instance lo located in a you know data center or in a cloud, wherever. So this is the tool is running just locally on my machine, and it's outbound connected into, into vManage. Yeah. So if I just did a test connection there, you can see that it successfully tested the connection into vManage. And that's quite an important step because we want to make sure that our SD1 or vManage is resolvable and we can actually reach it to pull and get down the, uh, the details that we want to see in this demo. Pro tip here, click save. Because this a few times not click save. If you don't click save, when you go to this next part, 
these details will get removed because you're only testing the connection. OK, there's two things to look at in here. There's managed reports and also view charts. So good, important. So if we were to look at um, view charts, view charts is actually going to give us live parameters from the um, SD1 or vManage straight away. And we can look at things like jitter, latency, packet loss, um, uh, bandwidth utilization, or site availability alarms. So let's just say for this demo, we want to look at jitters. So the next thing that we do is we select the tunnel which we're using, and we can see all of our devices or edge devices located in here. And all of these have got two links. So if we take this one at the top, the 10.1.0.2 link, we see this has got an MPLS link and also a direct internet link. And we can click on any of these, select the start date and end date, and then just simply click fetch metrics. What this has done is it's brought back this chart for me almost immediately, pulled using APIs from the vManage fabric from all the information from this tunnel. From here, we can take a snapshot of this and we can lasso it, we can zoom in, we can zoom out. And if you've got Plotty, installed you can also um, go off to plotty as well and look at some graphing in there as well so this is pretty cool we can see all of these things on a per tunnel basis um on our fabric but one let's say we wanted to look at something a bit more historical for example this is where this really shows our strengths so you'll see here that what it's do i've run in the past i've run 11 reports the 10 of them generated successfully, and one of them, I completely messed up the demo. So to be <laughs> able to generate the report, you just click Generate Report. Yeah, nice and simple. And you'll see there's two things in here. There's On Demand and the Schedule. So we'll take a look at both of these. You can actually set this up. If you've got SMTP enabled, you can actually set this up so that email reports from all of your data from vManage is sent to you or emailed to you based on a frequency. And it can you can then select all of the data that you wish to receive in this email. So there's no need to go into the tool every day and grab this data. You can just have it simply emailed to you or your team or whoever's requesting the data. As this sandbox is in an isolated environment, doesn't have any outbound connectivity, we want to look at um, this one, which is the on-demand. So what you do is you would create the report title in here. Then you would select your dates. You would select which metrics you want to include, whether you want it in tabular data or you want it in tabular and charts. Then once you've done this, you can just click download reports. Now, I have skipped ahead and downloaded a report for you to see today. You'll be pleased to know. And ta-da, just like magic, here's our report. And this is pretty cool because it's got a lot of information in here. Imagine how long this would take you either logging into a UI or creating many API calls to gather this kind of information. This is saving so much time just by using this tool. Um, in here, it's a plethora of information. It's like a, a smorgasbord or a candy box of information. I haven't seen anything this good looking since Kareem sent me his last Cisco uh, ID photo. I'm telling you, this is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And in here, you can see all of the metrics. You can see these great charts as well. I can just, just slide out that on a little bit so we can get that on the full screen. You can see all the jitter tunnels. You can see the bandwidth utilization. And you can see this per interface, per system IP, per host name. And you can see the average kilobits, sort of TX, RX, drops, everything that you would need to speed, capacity speed. It's, it's all here, bandwidth utilization charts, site availability chart. This is a sandbox, so I haven't broke it today. So, you know, we've got 100% uptime, everything's green. Site availability charts, which are coming also a graph, if that was to actually bring in the information, we bring all this in. What the information that you can get out from this tool for using um, sd wan manager and the APIs is just absolutely amazing. There's so much detail in here. It makes making reports from SD1 and everything you see here just so, so, so easy to do. It's a great tool. It, it the, definitely showcases the, the power of, of having, having an open API mm. to allow us to build tools like this yeah. on top of um, the products. This is, yeah. uh, this is pretty awesome. Sorry, I know I interrupted you, Matt, but I had a quick question. This sure. gets um, dumped as an Excel file. Is that correct? Yep, yep, it down, yeah, this is an Excel uh, file. And every all the graphs and everything is pre-generated. You didn't have to do anything to it to massage this data, right? 
Not, this is exactly how it downloaded onto my machine. Yeah, absolutely. All of that graphs. At a time when, you know, data is really important, you know, a lot of people are working from home. Applications, you want the right applications going over the right link. You don't want any impact to service. Everybody wants everything working as fast as possible. Being able to drill down into that data historically, seeing where there might have been errors, seeing how the applications are performing via, you know, SD-WAN, it's critical today. Yeah, and because this this code base is on uh, code exchange and automation exchange, that means it's open source. So you can actually use this as a base project yeah. to either extend the ties into SD WAN and add other data points if needed, or potentially even use it as a baseline to tie into something else, um, like I don't know Cisco DNA mm -hmm. Center or Meraki or Thousand Eyes. Because um, you know the really cool part for me is how do they generate the and the thing I'm going to poke into is how do they generate the graphs in Excel? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's. I was thinking the same. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> I knew I you were, and I knew that's yeah. why you asked the question, Kareem. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. But Stuart, before I let you go, um, can we actually run this tool against DevNet Sandbox? Well, Matt, that's a great question. And Christmas came early. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh well, great. That's, that's short, short and sweet. Uh, well, Snackers, uh, thanks again yep. for joining us on this episode of DevNet Snack Minute. Thank you to Stuart for showing us this awesome tool. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week with our next episode. Thanks, Snackers.